Hey guys, so the IKEA Freehand sofa bed is an extremely popular choice and I use a sofa for my home. And while I feel it's a great unit and provides a great value, there's definitely a couple things you should know about it before you go and buy one yourself. Let's start with the basics of the sofa. The design incorporates a chaise unit that can be configured in either the left or right side during assembly and also pops open for additional storage, which is pretty convenient. The other key feature with the sofa is the built-in ottoman that quickly converts us from a conventional sofa to a sofa bed, or just somewhere to kick up your feet while watching TV. The sofa comes in a variety of different fabrics and a pleather option, but the color I'm using here is the dark grey version. The unit comes with three pillows that are also removable covers, but they aren't washable, while the covers for the rest of the sofa are not replaceable. The fabric is staple gunned to the wood frame, so you can't remove the fabric to clean the unit. I haven't had any issues with making a mess or staining my sofa yet, but if this is something you're worried about, there are some third-party slipcover options that you can purchase for the sofa. Next, let's talk about the comfort of the sofa. I really like firm bed mattresses, so I find the sofa quite comfortable for sleeping on and have no trouble falling asleep on it. The sitting experience on the sofa is a little different, especially once you've broken in the cushion a bit. I myself am not a very heavy person, but the sag in the sofa is quite deep when sitting. Fresh out of the box the experience was nice and firm, but over time it softened up quite a bit and now you can feel the difference between my ottoman which is still very new and firm, versus the rest of the sofa. The units at IKEA will have been used quite a lot so the better reflect the final comfort of the sofa but just don't be surprised by how firm it is out of the box. Continuing on with comfort, let's look at the frame of the sofa. So the foam cushion on top of the sofa is held up by a wood frame and a thick wire gauge suspending the middle. This means that the center of the sofa will inherently be a little softer and sag more than the sides. But this also means that the edges of the sofa where it's just foam on wood are hard and can be uncomfortable because you can feel the wood frame. Depending on how heavy you are, you may even feel the wood frame while sleeping, so be sure to try out this spot on the sofa when you try it out at IKEA. The last couple things are minor, and really it's just me nitpicking. The fabric on the sofa starts to wrinkle from being loose, but a quick sweep makes that go away. The pillows will also deform after usage, but you can massage them back into shape to look like new. Overall, I love the versatility of the sofa and the overall design is very clever on how you convert it to a sofa bed. While there are a couple little quirks that I highlighted about the sofa, I haven't been able to find anything else that's comparable in terms of price, comfort, and versatility, so it's definitely staying here for years to come. But what do you think about the IKEA Freehand sofa bed? Like it, hate it, or just leave a comment below? And don't forget to subscribe and check out my assembly video for the sofa, and I'll see you in the next one.